Hello everyone. Our team today consisting of us, Vidushi, Rahul, and myself are going to talk about Grand Chart Nation for EV manufacturing firm. EV revolution is gaining momentum, momentum globally, and India is positioned to be a major player in this space. To capitalize on this opportunity, establishing a well-planned EV manufacturing firm is to see. Today we will dive into the essential steps involved focus, focusing on creating a detailed green chart to manage the project schedule and budget efficiently. So today we'll be talking about Gantt chart. Gantt chart is a various project management tool. So when we talk about the introduction part, a Gantt chart is a popular project management tool that provides a virtual representation of a project schedule. It was developed in the 20th century by Henry Gantt. So it has several purposes. Out of that, there are four major purposes. First is planning. It helps to project manager terms plan out a sequence. Second is scheduling. Third is tracking the objects and monitor them. And fourth is communicating to the various stakeholders. So when we talk about next thing is the components in Gantt chart. There are five major components. The first one being the task. So the individual activities, what is needed to be done and what is completed and what are needed to be achieved further. Second is timeline, which is the horizontal axis represent on what time basis each activity will be completed. Next is bars. Bars extend horizontally along the timeline. Uh, it indicates the start and end dates of each task. Next is milestones. Milestone is a significant achievement. Uh, for example, completion of certain task and the Fifth one is dependencies. Gantt chart often includes dependencies on what task is dependent on what actions. So next we'll be discuss about the benefits of the Gantt chart. Usually there are four major benefits. First one being visualization. Uh, a Gantt chart provides a clear visual of how a project is scheduled and how in sequence the tasks are needed to be done. Second is dependency. Uh, it helps to identify what thing is dependent on what thing. Uh, for example, which task is needed to be done in what way. The next is pro uh, progress track tracking. So Gantt chart often allows project managers to track the entire progress and enable them to identify delays and bottlenecks in it. And the fourth one is communication. Well, they serve as a major communication tool. Uh, for example, we know which tasks are needed to be done and in what time. And the last thing about this is the best practices used in the Gantt chart. So there are four major practices. First is visualization making the chart clear with proper scheduling. Next is dependency management. They help to identify task dependencies, including proper scheduling and everything. Next is progress tracking. Gantt chart allows uh, to, for us to understand what task has been completed on what time, enable them to identify the bottlenecks. As well as the fourth thing is the communication. It gives a clear communication tool. This was all about Gantt chart. Next is an example of how a Gantt chart exactly look like. As you can see, there are tasks, then there are task name, then there is start and end date, and there is duration on what basis those charts and everything has been completed. Thank you. Hmm. Hello, everyone. Our topic is Gantt chart for an EV manufacturing firm. And I will cover breakdown structure for an EV management firm. We will dive into the world of electric vehicle manufacturing, especially the key phase involved visualized in Gantt chart. This will give us a roadmap of how a Typical AV manufacturing firm goes from concept of building a AV vehicle to, to your driveway. AV manufacturing firm breakdown structure are divided into five phases. First phase is project planning and developing. Second is procurement and supply chain management. Third is production and assembly. Fourth is testing and validation. And fifth is delivery and launch. 
the first phase project planning and development lasts for one to two months. Here the project team defines goals, research the market, and design the vehicle, including the power drain body, software, and interior. They also identify supplier in establish a production schedule with quality control in their mind. The second phase is procurement and supply chain management. They which takes around two to three months. This involves securing contracts with suppliers, purchasing all the necessary raw materials and components, and ensuring efficient inventory management in logistics. Then the third phase is production and assembly. This phase is the general operation lasting four to six months. Here the production line is prepared, the body is built and printed, the electric motor and the vehicle are assembled, and finally everything everything comes together in the final assembly stage. Quality control checks happen throughout this phase with the final pre delivery inspection before the waiting food stop testing. Then the next step is testing and validation, which lasts one to two months. Ensure the review performs flawlessly and meets safety standards. Engineer test everything in everything from observation and handling to battery range and software flexibility. Any bugs or issue in the vehicle are addressed here before moving forward. The final phase is delivery and launch of the AV vehicle. This phase takes around one month. It involves vehicle registration, logistics, customer training, and of course an existing marketing strategy or campaign for a new TV vehicle. So this is the word with the structure for an AV vehicle. Hello, uh, so I'll be talking about uh, resource planning for EV manufacturing firm. So uh, the first resource that we need is human resource. We need skilled workforce. We need uh, production line staff uh, who is very, very efficient. The next resource we need is a uh, material resource. We need uh, raw materials like lithium, cobalt, and EV specific components for batteries. Uh, the next resource that we need is technology resource. We need an uh, enterprise resource planning system, manufacturing automation, design and stimulation software. And the next resource that we need is financial resource. So uh, EV manufacturing is capital intensive and uh, it requires a lot of capital investment. Uh, the next resource that we need is suppliers network and uh, the most important thing in resource planning in EV manufacturing is a uh, waste management system. So we need to develop uh, an efficient waste management system wherein we can uh, dispose the batteries. Thank you. So I'll be talking about the schedule and cost management part of it. Now, establishing a strong schedule and cost management proves, uh, is very crucial for the success of the manufacturing EV firm. I'll be covering these two in very separate slides and start with the schedule management. Now, talking about the schedule management, the first part of it is the Gantt chart. The Gantt chart that we had covered earlier acts as the foundation of the schedule management. Regularly updating it with the start and end dates is very crucial for us, uh, the project to remain in track. Now, the second one is the critical path method. We have to identify the critical paths that are identified within the project. This is the sequence of tasks that have basically zero slack time, which means that any delay in the project would lead to an overall effect in the schedule and the project of our team. Focusing on managing and litigating 
uh, tasks that are within this critical path so that we have we complete our uh, project on time now the third one is the scheduling risk management we have to enter a risk register for which we identify the potential risk that can be associated with our project. For example, uh, hazard rate in acquisition or equipment delivery delay. These are the, some of the things that can occur and therefore we assign a probability and impact score to access it. And uh, we formulate plans so that these risks are mitigated. Now the next part is uh, communicating with the weekly or bi-weekly meetings. And uh, we basically review our all our progresses and uh, all the difficulties and delays that we face on our projects. And the last part of it is monitor and reporting it. So we have to report all of the status reports uh, to all our internal and external stakeholders so that all of them are aware of the potential delays and uh, the specific status of our tasks. Now the next part is the cost one. We basically detail uh, the breakdown of the budget, be it market research, land acquisition, and the various activities that are mentioned here. So basically for manufacturing of the EV firm, we first identify the market of it on, upon how much people actually use two-wheeler or four-wheel vehicle and, uh, and actually are ready to transition from CNG and, and petrol, diesel, BS, BS6, four-V vehicles to all the EV firms. So that, uh, and we uh, therefore assign a particular budget for it. Now, the next one is the land acquisition and salaries, benefits, marketing and sales, be it offline or online, and all the overheads that will be associated with it. Now, the next is the cost control measures, competitive bidding. We have actually uh, purchased all our equipments and raw materials through bidding uh, of the lowest vendor, of the lowest value through vendors. Cost variance. Cost variance analysis is nothing but uh, weighing that what our actual costs are and what our estimated budget was so that uh, the difference we would work upon for the next time. And the next one are value engineering change management, uh, which is the formal process if we want to make any changes in our activity. Now, the next one is the contingency planning. It is uh, actually allocating a budget to the unforeseen expenses that would occur. And uh, therefore, we have to have a buffer in our project schedule so that if any such thing happen, uh, so that we are better prepared for it. We have covered the key aspects of using a grand chart, cost management techniques, explore world breakdown structure to build down different projects into manageable phases to establish your EV manufacturing firm. Hope you all found it insightful. Thank you.